If you have a disease that requires expensive medication, you may use a coupon from the drug manufacturer to help cover your cost. But your ability to access that medication could soon change. That's because of a new health plan, cost-cutting approach known as Accumulator Adjustment Programs. Here's how the programs work. Under normal circumstances, your coupon doesn't just allow you to purchase your medication, it also moves you closer each month toward fulfilling your deductible. That's the amount that you must pay each year before your insurer will provide maximum coverage for your medication and health care. After a few months, your copay coupon will run out, but that's okay. By then, you've probably met your annual deductible. Now you owe just a standard copay, a flat, modest amount, maybe $10 or $15. But under accumulator adjustment programs, things work differently. You can still use the coupon to pay for your medication, but health plans do not count the amount toward your deductible. Once you use up your coupon, you may discover that you still owe hundreds, even thousands of dollars toward your deductible. And insurance coverage for your medication won't kick in until that deductible is paid. That's a painful surprise and leaves patients like you with a difficult choice. You may try to pay the hefty out-of-pocket bill or you may have to abandon the medication you depend upon. Health insurers gain an obvious benefit from these programs. The deductible is paid not just once, but twice. First through the coupons, which are paid for by the drug manufacturer, and then again as you pay down the deductible from your own pocket. But how do the programs impact patients like you? A delay or disruption in treatment can be inconvenient or even dangerous. For some patients, it can mean losing time and progress that can never be recovered. Accumulator adjustment programs are designed to make patients like you feel the financial pain of needing an expensive drug, but they may instead disrupt care and trigger uncontrolled symptoms. For many, that's too high a price to pay.